Hey guys, today I'm doing a comparison that I've wanted to see done for a really long time. We see a lot of advertisements on television and online for the Sham Wow absorbent towel thing. And I've got a brand new one right here. And I wanted to uh, test out some of the claims they make about this versus a couple of the other main competitors that I've used before. First one being the, the real leather chamois, which is right here. This particular chamois is the version that I got from Costco, I believe, for about 10 bucks or something. So this is the real leather chamois. And then this is the slightly older uh, model. This is the absorber cloth, as you can see here, the absorber. And this is similar in size to the ShamWow, but it's got a more rubbery texture. And it comes in a package like this. You usually find it in your car wash section. So today I wanted to test a few of the claims made by each of these. Let's start with the ShamWow. Okay, the first thing that you'll notice on the commercial is it says ShamWow works wet or dry. And if you've ever known anybody who's used a ShamWow, or even sometimes the, the guys at the fair trying to sell you the ShamWow will tell you, it actually doesn't really work dry. So honestly, I wouldn't even bother. Yeah, you can start absorbing some liquid like this, but realistically it works a lot better when it's already wet and wrung out. So it's got that pliability and so forth to it. The only reason it works dry is because it becomes wet and then it starts absorbing more quickly. So what I'm going to do first thing before I even bother trying to use this dry because it's not very good is wet it off or sorry get it wet in my sink and then wring it out and I'll be right back. Okay now I'm back and all I've done is I've completely uh, gotten it wet and then rolled it up and wrung out all of the water. So now I have like a, a damp sham wow. And what I want to do is I want to first test their claim of absorbency, which I'm going to test with two cups of water right here. So I'm going to do just like they do in the commercial. I'm going to pour two cups of water into my pie bowl thing here, whatever this is called, pie plate. And I'm going to take the damp sham wow and I'm going to place it. This is four ply right now, folded in half twice. Place it in here. And you can see it starts absorbing the water right away. And I'm going to kind of fold it up a little to get everything wet. And it actually did absorb pretty much all of the water. But you can see here, I'm not squeezing it, and it is dripping. So once it's saturated, it is going to drip, unlike what they'll tell you in the commercial. You can probably finesse it a little bit here and keep it moving, and it probably won't drip as much. But it does start dripping eventually. So it did absorb about 16 ounces of water pretty well, but it's saturated here, and it's dripping. So now I'm going to wring it out, and one of the things that I notice about the Sham Wow that's always kind of creeped me out, I don't know if you can see it very easily in the camera, is that the water is cloudy, and that's something that they never advertise here. Yeah, they wring it out, but even when you watch in the commercial, the water that comes out of it is, is basically cloudy. It's, it's, it's got like this fiber mixed into it and it makes it dirtier than when you started. Okay, now I'm going to perform the same test with the other towels just to see how they perform. I'm going to take the same 16 ounces of water, put it in the pie tin. It's actually not the same 16 ounces, this is a fresh 16 ounces of water, so this is more clear to begin with. And I'm going to try the same thing with the leather chamois next. Now, I don't know if the leather chamois is supposed to be wet or dry, but just to keep it fair, I'm going to wet it and wring it out just like I did with the ShamWow. Okay, now I have a piece of leather that as you can see is a lot more pliable than it was before because I've saturated it with water and wrung it out over my sink. I'm going to take that same two cups of water that I have in the bowl and I'm going to fold it approximately in fourths or four layers like I did with the ShamWow just to get a comparison. Now this isn't a square piece of leather so it's obviously a little bit ragged here but it's roughly four layers right now. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the ShamWow. What you're going to notice is when I pushed it in there, the water actually spilled over because it didn't absorb nearly as much. So I'm trying to get this saturated as much as I can. Um, one thing I noticed about the chamois, and maybe this is just the Costco specific chamois, is that before it gets completely saturated, it almost beads up water in certain places. So what you're going to see here is I didn't actually absorb all the water. I still probably have three quarters of a cup or a half cup 
and this thing is definitely dripping a lot more than the Sham Wow did. I'm going to ring it back in here just for comparison. I'm going to see this weird bubbling. And I don't know if that's due to the way the, the leather fiber works or, or what. But once it's done bubbling, the water is cleaner um, than it was with the Sham Wow. I'll show you what I mean. So it's still not perfectly clean, but it's less cloudy than it was with the Sham Wow. Okay, the final towel that I wanted to test here was the absorber. Let me start off by saying that this is actually a little bit less material than probably the Sham Wow or the actual chamois. Um, it feels a little bit, it's definitely lighter weight in my hand. Um, well, these are both damp now, but it's lighter weight in my hand than either of those. Um, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to start with this damp, I'm going to uh, get it saturated, and then I'm going to wring it out. Okay, I did the exact same thing with the absorber, and what you're going to notice is it looks exactly the same as before I did that. Um, and that's one of the things I've noticed with this towel, is that when you wring it out, it gets almost completely dry. It holds a little bit of water in the areas where you didn't, you didn't wring it out completely, but it feels almost the same as it did before I got it saturated. So let's take that same two cups of water, and since we have a slightly smaller towel here, I'm going to fold it, well, I'll fold it in fourths again. You can see that I have a little bit less uh, thickness here when I fold it in fourths, but I'm going to start with it in fourths just to see, try to absorb some of this water. And I can already feel it's not absorbing as quickly as the Sham Wow. I'm going to go ahead and fold it just to try and get all of it saturated as much as possible. And what again, what I'm going to see is it's not absorbing nearly as much as that Sham Wow did. Okay? So it is absorbing quite a bit of liquid. But I would say, oop, I spilled a little bit. I would say it's uh, probably absorbing a similar amount as the chamois, maybe even slightly less water than the chamois. Let me go ahead and wring this out. You can see I'm squirting water everywhere when I wring it out. You can see it looks dry now that I've wrung it out. And the water is clear. Actually, the water looks a little bit clearer to me than both the um, sham wow and the natural chamois. Still not perfect, but it looks more clear to me. Um, although, probably slightly less absorbent than the other two. Although, it may just be a difference in the amount of fabric I'm using. Okay, next I wanted to do a test that shows uh, something that, that most of the advertisements for these type of towels don't show, and that's how quickly they absorb versus how much water they actually leave behind in the absorption time. So let me, tell, let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to pour just a little bit of water directly onto my counter. It's almost impossible to show you this um, with the camera here and the lighting, but I have a little puddle of water right here, and what I want to do is I'm going to absorb this water with each of the towels. I'm going to do one pass with a folded sham wow. Okay, it did an excellent job. No water came off the edge of my counter uh, when, I, when I did that, but what I notice is, and again, I don't think you can see this, but what I notice is there is a streak of water left behind where I used the sham wow. It's still drying right now. And I can go like this all day long, and because the sham wow is damp, this has all got a, a wet film on it now while it dries. Okay, So it did absorb the water, no problem, very quickly, but it did leave behind water film. So if you're trying to use this to dry your car or something similar like that, um, it's probably not going to be ideal because not only are you making residue in the water, but you're leaving water behind on your car's finish, which is going to leave spotting. Okay, so now I've dried it off with a paper towel. It's completely dry. I'm going to try and make a similar size puddle of water here. Okay, so it's right here. And this time I'm going to use the natural chamois. So here's the natural chamois. Again, it was damp and, and wrung out. And here's the water. I'm just going to do one pass. Okay. Now when I did one pass, what I noticed is it barely absorbed the water in time to avoid going off my counter. It was very much sitting on the surface of the chamois uh, before it went off the counter. And I'm also noticing um, it wasn't quite dry. Now when I go over it a couple passes, what I notice is the water dries up um, much more quickly off the surface than it did with the sham wow. 
So it actually, although it doesn't absorb quite as quickly, it actually seems to absorb more thoroughly. I don't know exactly how that works, but it did leave a little bit less water residue. This is completely dry now. So it actually would be better for washing your car. Finally, I'm gonna use the absorber. And again, similar size pool of water. And the absorber doesn't really need to be damped again, dampened again because it doesn't really work like that. Same thing with the absorber. And what I'm gonna notice is it did absorb the water a little bit more quickly than the chamois. And the counter is almost completely dry. So what I notice is in terms of leaving behind streaks, the absorber actually left behind fewer streaks than the chamois or the ShamWow. Uh, it doesn't quite absorb as much as either from my previous test, but it does leave fewer streaks and it also leaves the water cleaner once I've wrung it out. So if I was going to choose one for washing a car, I would probably go with this. It's about seven or eight dollars over at Target. If I was going to use, or if I was going to need something for absorbing a high volume, I would probably use this. So if you spill a giant beverage on your floor, this is going to absorb it pretty quickly and get most of it off. It's got good absorption power, but it leaves behind streaks and it uh, contaminates whatever you absorbed with it. So that's my review, guys. They all have their different strengths and weaknesses. I think the absorber and the ShamWow both have advantages over the natural leather chamois. For more reviews, check out my website, ultraconsumer.com, and feel free to leave any comments if you have them. Thanks, guys.